So we're riding bikes on the going to the Sun Road in the springtime at Glacier National Park, Montana. joining us on another journey today <laughs> we're at glacier national park <laughs> we're biking going to the sun road and this is janet from radiant wanderings we're doing a collaboration she has a travel channel as well so check it out so sit back relax and, and enjoy, enjoy the journey. journey all of the national parks that i've been to all over the world are amazing even if it's raining it's amazing Get some bikes down. Well, here, we'll help you get these down. Where are we at, Janet? Are yeah. you filming? Yeah. Oh. You're doing the where. <laughs> he usually does this to me. Where are we at, April? <laughs> like your mom's house. <laughs> I had an electric bike ride about now because we're going up hill at a very slow rate of pace. Whew. Went to school uphill both ways, snow this deep. <laughs> How you feeling? Not good, huh? You should get some water, April. I don't know how yeah. not more effective, Wayne. I have more weight, so I can just push down on the pedals. I feel like guys always get to skate through things a lot easier. Yeah. I don't know if I'd call it that. Men well, have it easier. Work out at all, and I try to do daily workouts, and then we go out, and he's like, he's beating my butt. Travel tip: Make sure you have a camel bag full of water, not beer or whiskey. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> the whiskey will hydrate you. No. Yep. How many more miles do you think? One to two. Straight uphill. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> you can't tell, but we're going way straight up in the air. Feels like a 10% grade, but because I'm so overweight, I think it's more like a 25% grade. Barely moving. <sighs> Not too much farther. <laughs> Everybody's a liar. <laughs> you look good. This is a no talking video, this is a heavy breathing video. Like porn? Yeah. I just pressed my brakes, I didn't know I slammed them, but I pressed my brakes and I... Just at, use? At my slow motion and I, I almost went off the front of it. Yeah, because you used the wrong brake. In my use slow your, motion. Use so that's your why back I'm brake. Saying, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing enough to go hauling ass down. And you'll be fine. You just use your back brake. What's my back brake? Your right hand. Don't use the left hand unless you have to because that's your front brake and you're not experienced enough. All right, ran into a little bit of problem. The chain's kind of messed up here. Let's see if we can fix it. Try to make it to the tunnel. That waterfall. Everywhere you turn, magnificent waterfall. Everywhere. Beautiful scenery. I'm gonna go through the bath. And then, yeah. Riding it to the finish line. I was not pushing the bike. I was not pushing the bike uphill. You were not walking? Not walking. 
Gasping for breath? Gasping for breath? No, nope, not at all. Is this the finish line? I'm there! Yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, dang, your number must have fallen off. We don't know which one you are. It's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all I care about is I make it. Yes. Please tell me this is the end. Oh, we're gonna go up there. Oh, my Jesus! 8,987 feet above sea level on a bicycle. That's pretty good for an out of shape American. All right, Janet. We made the Tour de France. We made it. How do you feel? Uh, I feel dead. <laughs> <laughs> but anybody can do it. Yes. Take your time. Yeah. Slow well, and steady. Right. Yeah. It was worth every painstaking step. <laughs> or pedal. Pedal. That's right. Pedal. And you know what? Going down is going to be totally worth it. Oh, yeah. For Go sure. Down. Look at Janet. She's like not even broken a sweat. I know. And here we are drenched. <laughs> here. I broke a little sweat. Let's see. Wayne's back. I Show me it. your sweaty backpack back. Check this out. Oh, we yeah. had that all through Mexico. But it's like 65 degrees and I'm sweating like a pig. Yeah. Oh yeah, my hair is drenched. That's it's what happens like... when you're an American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check it out. We got baby Dan. Hey, Bambi. And just to let you know, you really shouldn't get this close to animals. They are wild animals. I'm using a zoom lens, so I'm not quite as close as it looks. See his baby horns? Janet, tell us about your Radiant Wanderings. <laughs> so Radiant Wanderings is a travel blog and YouTube channel. So similar to Go Travel on the Cheap, I try to do things affordably to make my travel dreams come true. I also live in the beautiful state of Montana. So as you can see here, this is home for me now and I absolutely love it. So I'll share Montana living and city guides and hotel reviews and all that great stuff. So come and join me on my channel. I'd love to have you guys. Definitely, we'll put a link below. All right, Janet, we're going big time downhill. You guys can go first. waiting on April. I was just pointing at the sign that said slower vehicles. <laughs> I'm a fast vehicle at this point. 
Look at those waterfalls. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but it seemed to heighten the beauty on the way down because I wasn't working so hard. Oh, yeah, you could actually Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But you know what? It, because you went up, you got the reward to go down. Yeah, it is. And I've been to national parks my whole life. Like I said, going across countries. And, and so it's weird to, this is the first in my whole life. To, to what? To only be surrounded by Americans. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't think I've ever been to a national park where we're the only, only but Americans. Everybody else is from somewhere else. In fact, the Americans never show up. It's so sad. We, we travel all over the world, but don't even go to explore our own place, you know? Well, and some people don't travel at all. That always trips me out. Like, you've lived somewhere your whole life and you've never done anything? Like, for real? <laughs> like, what do you do? I guess when you're working all the time, you just kind of get into a... You get into a rut, I guess, yeah. But I always try to do something on the weekends, at least. Oh, yeah. Well, we got a little cabin for tonight. We're staying out in the woods in Montana, a little cabin. It's cool looking. In Lakeside. Oh, cute. It's from the outside. Nope. Got a nice retro 1970s couch. couch. Yep, yep. You don't need nothing fancy when you're in a cabin. Huh. It's got a kitchen. It's yep. Got a TV. Wood burning stove, do not use. Okay. Why not? Probably because they don't want you to burn the house down. These people are dummies. Uh, this is cool. How, how much did we pay for this, April? 125 before fees taxes, and taxes and fees. Did you want to peek in there? Yeah. Nice little cabin. Open that up to see a surprise. Well, that's one way to do it. Right? Yeah. It's cool. Inventive. I like it. It's hip and cool. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Glacier National Park. <laughs> <laughs> and we're biking up to the Road to the Sun. No? The Going to the Sun Road. The going to the Sun Road. We're in Grant. Oh, wrong damn sun. See? <laughs> he gets in his head about it. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend. And like always, and like always. <laughs> thank you for living live. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I am so whooped. <laughs> Your brain shorted out? Yeah, brain fried. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank, thank you for living live. live.